What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autodop NL. My name is Max and today we've got visitors from Racechip. This is their new demo car, the BMW M3 Competition X-Drive. So this is the most suitable M3 for tuning. Of course we did the same thing to our M3 with a manual gearbox and rear wheel drive with the Racechip uh, which we are super happy with. It is very very fast but of course you always have the manual and the rear wheel drive thing slowing you down it it just is it's just a fact you know it's you're not going to get any quicker because you just have a slow shift and traction issues so today i'm going to show you around this x drive version with the race chip it is freaking powerful as hell and mega quick uh, I'll show you the stuff that Raceship has done to it, like the wheels, and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast, where we'll also talk about the different times we've measured and stuff like that. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the spec. We've got this wrap on there with this, well, what is that? A little bit of a digital touch and a sort of a steel look. Definitely looks interesting. And then we've got these wheels, man. This is a new company called Edelweiss and these are lightweight wheels. You can see here 9.5 kilos per wheel and they are beautiful. I absolutely love them. They are stunning and they look really good on this car. 20 inch front and rear, it looks awesome. And then wrapped around that Michelin Pilot Sport 4S rubber. This car has the regular steel brakes, so no carbon ceramics on this car, uh, which saves like 20 kilos so uh, it is a bit of a heavy porker this because you have basically the heaviest spec car well you can also go for the regular seats that's the only thing that would make it heavier i think uh, moving down the side more race chip stickers let's take a look at this wheel at the rear okay that's it i just wanted to take a look at it it looks so cool especially rolling on the on the street it looks really mean and then at the rear we've got an eisenmann exhaust an opf back exhaust so it's not mega loud but it does sound a bit better than stock this is still a prototype exhaust by eisenmann and uh, well <coughs> no carbon exterior back on this car let's take a look at the engine there we have it the s58 now the guys at race chip Put this thing on the dyno and they measured 540 horsepower and 685 newton meters of torque of course this three liter inline six turbocharged engine is supposed to do 510 horsepower and 650 newton meters but we know that it is performing a bit better than that and then uh, after development the result with this race chip right here is 660 horsepower and 823 newton meters of torque yeah so that is pretty damn powerful 120 horsepower extra that is seriously impressive so so i've got the app right here and then you can actually see the race chip is turned off right now but we are of course going to turn it on so we're in race but we can go to seven even so we'll put that in seven and that means that we've got that 660 horsepower which of course is one of our favorite things about the race chip the fact that you can turn it off turn it on we use it on our m3 all the time if you just you know if you're on a nice b road and you just want to enjoy the drive itself then the stock power is more than enough and you can use more of the power and then when we get to the autobahn oh, when we get to the autobahn and uh, you want to blast down the road we turn the race chip on and we've got 600 plus horsepower to play around with uh, that is super super nice and of course it is a plug and play product so if you want it turned off or completely off from your car you can just take it off and the installation is super easy as well so on the inside we've got these carbon buckets which are amazing and of course the carbon trim on the inside i'll start it up we're not going to spend too much time with that we're just going to drive it alrighty so as i have shown you we are in race mode the most aggressive setting so that means that we do have that 660 horsepower i'm going to go into 
M2 mode, which means four wheel drive. I'll show you what the mode is. Four wheel drive sport, brakes in sport, steering in comfort, and the rest in sport plus. So the steering and the suspension. I forgot to tell you, we also have Eibach springs on this car. So it sits a bit lower and it's probably a bit stiffer, but okay, little tunnel. So as you can hear, it is not mega loud. It is just a little, little upgrade sound-wise over the stock exhaust. It is nothing, you know, it's not like uh, our exhaust, which is just mental on, the, on our M3, I meant. Now let's also talk a bit about this car in general, the M3 X-Drive, because it is a freaking beast. Of course you have, as I said, you basically have the heaviest version, but you should look at this at the X-Drive as an optional extra. It's just an M3 competition with X-Drive, but you can turn it off. So you can go to two wheel drive mode, which is really convenient. You just, you have it all basically. And I really like that about this car. Oh man, that is quick. Okay, so let's do a launch control, four wheel drive sport, as I said foot on the brake, full throttle. There we go. Oh. <laughs> that is quick. So, of course we did the measurements with the race chip off and the race chip on. So we have the same car on the same day, the same conditions, doing the same thing. And the difference we measured was 0.3 of a second. So we went from 3.4 to 3.1 seconds, zero to 100. 3.09, in fact. That is insane. If you put this car on Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires and get those nice and hot, I'm sure you will get this car from zero to 100 in less than three seconds. So that is pretty mental. Now, the X-Drive system has a diff at the rear, of course, and the diff at the center and it basically is a rear wheel drive car and it decides to send power to those front wheels when it needs to. And that of course is the best way to do it for an M3, but you can just feel that acceleration out of a corner. It is really insane. You can just put your foot down and the car just sorts it out and catapults you out of the corner. It is very impressive. I'll also show you what happens when you put it in two-wheel drive. Second gear. Uh, there was a car coming our way, so I was not going to do any Gymkhana slides, but anyway, uh, there is a lot of power on that rear axle now and you can just feel that the car struggles with it a little bit more. But it's fun at the same time, you know, and especially now with that increase in power, I mean, it is absolutely mental. Okay, so we'll put the gearbox in drive and then the most aggressive setting, there it is. Oh. <laughs> That is quick. So, in addition to that zero to 100 time we measured, we also measured the 100 to 200 time. Now, we measured an 8.5 second run for the car in stock mode. So no race chip, 8.5 seconds, which is pretty quick, but it is half a second slower than the non x drive version. So you can definitely see and feel that you're losing a bit of power through the drivetrain and of course it is 50 kilos heavier as well because of the X-Drive. Now when we turned on that race chip we got a 6.99 100 to 200 so that is 1.5 seconds quicker from 100 to 200. That is very very impressive. Uh, 0 to 250 4 seconds quicker. 
So the performance increase is definitely there. I mean, you, you feel it immediately when you start driving the car. It just accelerates so easily. And this, of course, also is a big difference with our car, with the manual. Even though we also have a race chip and it's also super fast, it's more about those in-gear pulls. And this car, with that automatic ZF 8-speed, it just keeps going. this car feel like it feels like to quote Martijn a Porsche Turbo S sedan it, it has that same feeling of performance speed acceleration in all conditions grip levels that just exceed everything and that catapultation I don't know if that's a word but I'm, I'm going to coin it catapultation out of a corner that you know full throttle and you just think like okay that might have been a bit too much and then no the car just sorts it out there's loads of grip it puts it all to the to the ground it all it puts it all to the road so that's it for this review thanks to the guys at race ship for taking their demo car to us and showing us and you guys what it can do very impressive i've been running it for 30 minutes now and it is you know just performing really really well if you want to check out the performance gains for your car with a race chip go check out raceship.com uh, website is in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next one bye guys